In this video, we're going to learn how to append a character to a string using C. So first we'll declare a car array called buffer of length 100, and we'll store into this car array the string subscribe. Then we'll append a character to the string, let's say the character R. We'll declare a car variable called character, and we'll store into this car variable the character lowercase r. We can actually use the strn cat function inside the string.h library to solve this problem. So up here, we'll include the string.h library with number sign include string.h. Then down here, we can call the function. So we'll call strn cat. Now typically, the way this function works is that we pass it a destination string, a source string, and some maximum number of characters to append from the source string onto the end of the destination string. So just to see, let's create a car array called source, and we'll store into this car array the string triple uppercase A. Then down here, we'll pass strncat buffer as the destination string, and source as the source string, and two as the max number of characters to append from the source string to the destination string. Then down here, we could output the destination string stored in buffer afterwards. So here, we'll call printf, and we'll pass it a string with percent %s to output a string, followed by backslash n for a new line, and we'll output buffer here. Then, if we save compile and run the program, we'll get here subscribe, followed by two uppercase a characters. And that's because we only appended the first two characters from the source string to the destination string. Now, when we call strncat and we pass it buffer and source, what's really being passed is the memory address of the first character in these strings. So really, this function here is accepting the memory address where a character is stored. And what we could do is pass in the memory address of this character here. So and character will pass in the memory address of this character here in memory then what we'll do is append only that one character to the string. So here we'll have one as an argument. So just this one character is going to be appended onto the end of the string. Let's delete this. Then we'll save compile and run the program. And we do get here subscriber. So it is working. Now to understand what's happening when we call the function, let's remember that each character in the string is stored at an index. So for example, this lowercase s is stored at the index zero lowercase u is stored at the index 1, and so on for the rest of the characters in this string. And at the last index in this string, we have the special null terminator character that ends the string. And when we call the function, the character lowercase r is going to be written here, and the null terminator is now going to be at the index 10. So the array that we store the string into has to be large enough to account for this additional character, now, if we're using something called dynamically allocated memory to store the string, it's possible to actually increase the size of where we're storing the string. I'll post a link in the video description to a video covering how to do this. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.